Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to handle dynamic web elements in Selenium. Let me answer. First of all, what exactly are these dynamic web elements? Dynamic web elements are the web elements whose attribute values keep changing. Let me give you one example. For that, I'll open the browser. In this browser, I'll open this incognito window. And here I'll access one application that is facebook.com. And here there is a button known as login button. Right click inspect this login button. And uh, in the Google Chrome DevTools, you'll get the HTML code of this login button. Now in this uh, HTML code, you can see one ID having some value u underscore zero underscore five underscore sf. Okay. Uh, remember this last two characters sf, right? Let me refresh this page. Again, inspect this login button. Now you see. This time you got ed. Last two characters are changing. This part is constant, but this part of this uh, id is changing. Okay. Now again refresh. From ed it got changed to bb. Okay. From ed it got changed to bd. No matter how many times you are refreshing, this value is getting changed. You see w five. So that means this web element is a dynamic web element because this button's attribute value is changing. Okay. Id attribute value is changing. So it's a dynamic web element. So how to handle such kind of dynamic web elements in Selenium? Okay, with the help of XPath or whatever it is, how to handle this dynamic web elements? So there are several ways to handle this. Let me show you all the ways. First one, I'll use contains. Okay, I'll use contains. That is here, I'll say control F, I'll create an XPath expression for this with the help of ID and all. So double slash button at the rate ID, if I give the ID as this exact ID, if I give complete ID, it is not going to work. Okay. For, for now, it will work. Before I refresh, it will work. Okay. But if I refresh, this ID attribute value will change. And this XPath expression that I have built already is not working anymore. It's not locating this button. Because here's new two characters came. We know that these two characters are changing. Okay. So this is not constant. Okay. So what I will do here is here, the first method is I will use this contains function in XPath. I'll simply write down contains and uh, provide circular bracket. After add the rate ID, put a comma. And here, remove that equal. And uh, in this value, only put the constant value. OK, whatever the letters which are changing, right? remove that. OK, now press enter. Just provide circular bracket. And, OK, now press enter. You see it's locating. Now refresh the page, still it will locate. After refreshing also, it's going to locate. You see it's still locating. Again, refresh, even though this value, ID attribute value is dynamically changing also, still this XPath expression is working because I have used contains, okay? In place of contains, you can also use starts with, okay? If this constant value is in the beginning, okay? From the beginning, it is constant. Uh, on the, then in that case, instead of contains, you can use starts with also, okay? This is also going to work in the same fashion. Refresh, either you can use contains or you can use starts with, okay? In this case, you can use starts with also. Then, we can use some XPath access. There's another way of using, okay? Instead of using this contents and starts, you can use XPath access where this button is, I'll go to the top of this button to see if there is any particular element having a proper ID or something. For example, here form is having some data test ID, okay? I'll copy this data test ID. I'll create an XPath expression like this, okay? I'll not directly locate the button, rather I'll take the help of this form, form element to locate that, okay? I'll say at the rate is equal to Royal I uh, underscore login underscore form like this. I'll okay, just give single quote. It's locating this form with the help of this form with the help of XPath access. I would like to locate this button. I'll simply say this button is nothing but a descendant of this form. So I'll simply say descendant colon colon button. You see, still I'm able to locate the button. Even though this ID attribute value is changing, even though this web element is dynamic because of this ID attribute value nature, still I'm able to locate with the help of XPath access. There are several ways, okay? And uh, the other way is by using text. Let's see where exactly this login text is there on the button, okay? So let's see this, uh, investigate this button and you can see that in the name attribute value, the login, it's not there, there, okay? Is there anywhere uh, we have that, uh, you see here it is there, okay? Login text is there here. How to find, how to, how to make sure we can locate this button with the help of uh, this login text. For that, I'll write down 
not only login text is there between the button tags, rather some other text uh, like colon colon before is also there. So I'll do one thing, double slash button, I'll say contains text, say log in. You see, I am able to locate, okay? Like this, with the help of text also, we can locate the buttons, okay? With the help of the text that is there on the button also, we can locate the buttons, okay? Then we can locate these dynamic web elements with the help of text also, okay? These are the several ways I'm showing. Any of these way you can follow to handle or locate the dynamic web elements on the web page with the help of XPath expressions. Now, last one is by using index. It's very simple to use index. So you see, you know that this particular element is nothing but a button tag. So I'll simply say double slash button, give some index like starting with one and press enter. You see, it's already locating, okay? There's only one button having the button tag in this particular page and this button is getting located, okay? With the help of this index also, I'm able to locate this, okay? If the uh, attribute values are dynamic, in that case, the web element is dynamic. In that case, you can follow this kind of XPath expressions using contains function or starts with function or using XPath axis or using text or using index we can locate the elements. So hope means you understood how to handle the dynamic web elements in Selenium. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.